Can daddy cook? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey America. Alright guys, uh, let me explain a few things. First of all, <clears throat> I've been gone for a minute. I was intended on doing a pork tenderloin uh, last week, but we bought one that was long as my daughter's arm and it looks like this. Now that tenderloin ended up being some uh, Wiener schnitzel, because I cut off some of it to make six Wiener schnitzels, and then we cut off some more to make some pork chops. And then we cut off some more and it was gone. <laughs> so I had to buy another one that looked like this. It's the same damn picture. <laughs> but I bought one just like it. Now guys, uh, both of those tenderloins that looked identical only cost me like 22 and 25 bucks. Did you see how big they are? I went to Food Lion to get a tenderloin and it was one third as big for 18 bucks. Shoo! So I didn't get them from Food Line. I got them from Carly C's or RG, uh, IGA. If you're in the Fayetteville area, North Carolina area, y'all, go to IGA. You can get way more meat, more bang for the buck. All right, guys. Anyway, I am going to do a uh, pork tenderloin, and here it is. Nice. You see that? Now, this one used to be this long, <laughs> but I cut some of it off because we did. Uh, I did some. Uh, fried rice for a couple of days and I need some pork. No pork, no pork at all. <laughs> Y'all should be watching that. Anyway, anyway guys, I'm going to be doing it. And here's my supporting cast, not this. I'm gonna be using some extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I'm not using mustard this time. And I'm gonna use, shout out to Kirby Q. Shout out, shout out. All right, Kirby Q, sent me some rub. Okay, he sent me this pork rub, he also sent me a beef rub, and he also sent me some barbecue sauce. I'm only going to be using the pork rub today. Uh, taste test on it, let's see how it tastes on the meat. But I've tasted it. Great flavor. Uh, a little bit of heat, just a little bit, but that's a good thing. Alright guys, so all I'm going to do, and I'll show it to you after I do it, is I'm going to rub this bad boy down with some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to lightly coat it with his rub. And then I'm gonna go out back, light up the UDS, the uh, military meat maker, and we're gonna smoke this bad boy. So, all right, guys, prep work done. Take a look at that. Woohoo! All right, now I did lightly, somehow we like that. It ain't light, yeah. I did lightly put the rub mm, on. It smells good. It. it does smell good. Mm. Good job, Kirby. So far, <laughs> so good, man. I used about half of it uh, because. Uh, I hope he'll do another one. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to go out back. I'm going to light up the UDS and then uh, put this bad boy on. Once we get out there, I'll let you take a look-see of it and then uh, continue on. Hey, process. guys. I'm in handheld mode. Going to uh, get out here. My temperature spiked a little bit. So up there, boy. And uh, let me adjust my valves a little bit. Let me show y'all. Adjust my valves some. I'll bring that one down halfway. I'm gonna bring this one down halfway. Temperature's kinda high right now. Yeah, it's at 273, my meat's at 145. Let's take a quick look, see? Let's see what we got. Oh, I don't look too bad. See that Kirby Q? Temperature's kinda high, fat cap's up. So I'm gonna let it keep rolling. I'm in the dome configuration, as you see. And, uh, it is what it is. Nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, let it keep on rolling, let my temperature uh, level out, and we'll be right back. All right? Nice. All right, America, we're back. Let me tell you what happened. Uh, my temperature spiked, like I said earlier. I uh, got up to like 270 for a while. I was up to play the video game. I didn't notice. <laughs> anyway, no big deal. Um, this got done in about two hours. It looks good. Here you go. Take a quick look. See at that, y'all. 
Looks fantastic. Smells what? It smells good. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. All right, Kirby Q. Listen. Listen, Kirby Q. Baby, does it smell good? Mm -hmm. That's the seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this, put some aluminum foil on top of this. I'm going to let it rest for about uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then we're going to cut into this and we're going to do a taste test. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I've already unwrapped this. It's been about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, but this is still warm. Look at all that juice in there. Ooh, that's why I let it rest, guys. That's why you let your food rest so that the juices stop moving around. If you cut them when it's really hot, all your juice is going to run out. Hopefully, that did not happen to us. Uh, ooh, this is still warm. Okay, we are going to do a taste test. Pull off on the towel. Be right back, America. Okay, that smells good, Kirby Q. Mm -hmm. That smells good. Let me get us a slice, sharp knife, sharp knife. Nice. Woo. Look at the juice on that. Nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut uh, one more. <laughs> one more thin slice, sharp knife, sharp knife. My fingers out the way. Nice and warm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to uh, reset, and one of my beautiful girls is going to do a taste hey, test. Hey, America, we're back. It's the Shayla. Say, hey, America. Hey, America. She's going to do my taste test. Grab your peace, baby, and tell me what Kirby Q spices and my cooking <laughs> does for you. All right. You got a bite to it? Talk to America. Don't talk to me. Sorry. It has a bite to it? Bite meaning what? Like a nice chew to it. It's juicy and spicy. Tender. Mm, spicy. Tender. Okay. <laughs> spicy. And it's smoky and it's all together good. Seriously? Is it? Yeah. Here, I'm pretty sure you want to know what your spices taste like. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Now, here we go, Mary. Hmm. Pork's great. <laughs> now rub. A little bit of heat, not too much. Mm. Very, very good flavor with the pork. I'm not gonna call out all the individual spices that I taste, because that might be a trade secret. But the Kirby Q pork rub very much so enhances the flavor of the pork. It's very good, very flavorful. It's got a little sweet, got a little heat, um, and it's got a little bit salty. But all together, it's a great rub. Good job, Kirby. All right, guys, if you can get a hold of his rub, or go to Kirby Q and give him a holler and say, hey, hey, I want some of your rub, and he sells it to you or something. I don't know. But uh, it's worth using. Very good rub, my opinion. My girls call me Daddy, and I cook. Can daddy cook? Mm -hmm.